Hello everyone and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology 1. Uh, this is your humble instructor Greg Barnhill and I'm going to do a screencast. I was going to do um, a video and do a little bit of a face-to-face -face, but um, anyway it's storm tonight and I'm not looking great. I'm all soaking wet so I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, do a screencast. So what my, well, my goal with this I want to show you all the tabs and show you how you can get started. So under the syllabus tab, which is that this video is going to be um, right underneath this, if you're watching this, but um, there's my name. Obviously, the office location is not going to matter. We're all online this summer, so please don't call the office phone. Uh, I will not be getting that message. But here are my virtual office hours. But basically, here's the email address. You can email me anytime. This one goes right to my phone. So that's the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, Blackboard does have, and let me just tell you now, this is my view. Um, what, what you're seeing right now um, at the moment is when you're watching this video and you've logged into this course, right now you're seeing these tabs and this My Achievement tab, which I'll go through that later. So um, you're lo we're looking at my view through this video. So I'm going to go back to the syllabus. Anyway, this video is here. As far as the schedule goes, let me click here. So this has, it's a five-week course. It's a summer course. Here are all the topics we're covering. There are going to be six exams. Uh, there is a comprehensive, comprehensive final exam. And there are nine lessons to do. And I'll, uh, I made a video how to do those. They're under the number one tab. And you'll be, when you get access to this, you're going to be clicking through here. I name these units exams. I don't know what else to name them, but this video right here will show you how to complete each unit. And they're all the same. That way to minimize uh, any confusion or anything. So here's the grading. Um, the exams are 70%. There's six of those. There are nine lessons. They're worth 15% of the average now. I covered this in the how to do the assignments video, but you can do those lessons as many times as you want to get 100. And they're good to use to study for. There are actually exam questions in them, but uh, you should be, in most questions, you can redo them after you do the question. So you should be able to get 100 in each one and make sure you click the finish button at the end. I, you got a message about that, an email about that, and um, or you will if you haven't. And, I'll go over that in that video. The final exam is 15% of your, it's over the entire semester. So the total is 100. And I, like I said, I made a video about how to go through all the assignments. So let me go back to the syllabus. So that's the schedule of grading. As far as the textbook goes, uh, we use OpenStax to keep the cost down. Uh, you can buy a hard copy in the bookstore for about 35 bucks. It is optional. And you can also, here I'll provide a link. This is OpenStax Online. You're going to have to click it again. Two clicks. And pregnant pause. Here is the section at their website for our book. And then here's a table of contents. View online. There's an app that's really good you can download for your phone. Download a PDF. That means each chapter is actually separated. Um, just well, it's like this. So here's the, and this looks like the entire book, and it is. Um, so it is, there we go. And there's a table of contents, but you can view each section that you're needing to. If you want to get some background information, I do provide a ton of information in the tabs, and I went over that, oops, I went over that with our, um, when I was going through to show you how to do the assignments. I apologize, let me go, I kicked myself all the way back out. So um, we're still in the syllabus tab, so that's the textbook, I'll let you look at that. And then course information, uh, one more, a little bit about the textbook and the link. Uh, as far as the attendance goes, you, you need to log in, obviously. Uh, there are no makeups um, as far as the assignments. It's an online course, it's pretty flexible. Um, and as far as late assignments and everything, if something comes up, email me. 
And there's the grading breakdown and a little bit about cheating, but um, a little bit about the exams. I'll let you read through that. Go back to the book, Breadcrumbs. And the learning outcomes is just stuff that we cover. This is everything the course is covering, including our SACS accreditation, things that we're required to cover are under that tab. Once again, I'll let you read that. Uh, there is a background statement that if you're going to be an allied health person, you have to pay for a background check, a little bit of a cost just to give you an awareness of that. And it says any part of the syllabus is subject to change. Uh, this class is ironclad, not it's uh, the schedule. Nothing's going to change, okay, unless there is a, <laughs> a complete breakdown of the Internet and Blackboard. And we'll, let's hope that doesn't happen. Under the course overview tab, so I want to touch on a couple of things. I'll let you look at this. Oh, it said, what did you do? Uh, under this tab is where you have the browser down links. Now, if you've not used these browsers before, um, Firefox and Google Chrome are the ones that are approved for this class. For Blackboard, they work best. You're probably going to need some of these plugins. Um, the Okay, the Shockwave Flash and Adobe Reader, when you click on these, you'll probably need to get those. Uh, your computer probably already has that, but, um, and this is, yes, um, well, it is in the, oh, I'll, I'll have to do the, I'll put the, I'll put the Flash download, but uh, Flash is ending in December, and I'll make sure I put that one there, but um, this is just a breakdown of how the pages are going to look, and I'm actually, um, I went through and showed you in the introductory, the uh, assignment video how to do, do that part. So schedule, showed you this, and there's actually one here, there's a printable version if you want, if you're somebody that likes to have a, you know, a hard copy and you want to put it into a binder or something, there is our uh, schedule. And basically what is called the, the My Grades tab has all the due dates, now the way this course is set up there's no due dates uh, the last day of class you have to have everything in by the last day of class there are no weekly due dates uh, I'm trying to make it as flexible as I can uh, please don't wait till the last minute to do something the only drawback to that is you can't review your exams till after the due date uh, because for a variety of reasons that's the only drawback but um, you have the lessons that you can do that are pretty much just like exams if you want to practice or see see things you missed or anything like that but unfortunately you can view all these exams but it will be after the due date which is the last day of this class which is uh, June 30th so there's the schedule um, there's a textbook tab I did show you this that's what it looks like here's the link to the OpenStax online um, my office I uh, wish I was there same thing, office hours, uh, they're virtual, but you can contact me anytime through that email. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Blackboard does have email. I check that once a day, but that this goes to my phone. So if you have some trouble with something, let me know. Okay, and then uh, the My Achievements tab, I'll go through that later. I'm gonna set up a grading thing where if you get certain grades, you're gonna get some digital badges, and I'll go through that week one with you. And then here, now you can't see these, uh, these tabs, one, two, three, four, five, that's all you're going to be able to see. This is a five-week course. The one, two, three, four, five, they represent weeks in the semester. So week one is this one. This is week two, week three. Um, I will open these up early uh, so you have plenty of time to do everything. Uh, the, of course, week one will open uh, close to the beginning of the course. But uh, that's everything. And... When you get a chance when this week one opens, um, like I said, I'm calling these units exams. I don't have a better name. I would call them unit, but that doesn't work either in some cases. So um, there's the video on how to complete the assignments. So it goes through all of this and all, all the exam tabs will all look like this. And I will make some videos that go through some of the more complicated parts you try to keep a video short in fact this one's gone longer than I wanted it to go but I just want to say welcome uh, do not stress this is as laid back as you can get we do not have weekly due dates and always check down here 
and you'll be able to see it day one. This is the My Grades tab. Now I'm going to click on it. It looks a little different for me, but it tells you right there the date, which everything is June 30th. It has upcoming. It has all the grades, and I did mention this in the um, in the video for the lesson. Well, the how to do the assignments. With the lessons, you have to click the finish button at the end, the very last page of each lesson. And once you complete those, go back to the My Grades tab and make sure your grade is in there. If your grade's not there, that means it didn't go through. And it will go through if you click the Finish button. If you go through and do all the questions and forget to click the Finish button at the end, it will not keep your answers, and it will show a blank where your grade should be. And that's on you. Okay, you've got to click the Finish button. Um, this is like you doing something in class in a face-to-face -face course, and then you leave with the assignment and not turn into the teacher. So the, um, the actual exams themselves, when you answer the last question, it will submit. And they will submit at the time limit. And I went through all that in that first video. Okay, so welcome. I uh, hope you have fun. And email me if you have um, any questions. Thanks.